Hi guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to customize uh, the color themes that are available to you uh, when you're looking to change the look and feel of your SharePoint 2013 site. Um, but basically there's no out of the box way to do this without knowledge of uh, cascading style sheets and a few other features. So uh, we're going to show you how to do it using a free tool available from Microsoft called the SharePoint Color Palette Tool. So basically, first thing you want to do is you want to visit, although Google the, the option of the SharePoint Color Palette tool, download and install this application on your system. Once that's done, uh, the next portion of the video will show you how it's all done. So within the Color Picker, you'll notice how you have different buckets. Each bucket contains uh, various properties and elements uh, that affect the formatting of different parts of your, of your site. So for example, if you were to look at bucket three, as an example, you'll see sweet bar background. Now, if we were to enter in a custom, custom hexadecimal code, you notice how that would change the formatting of that property. In the same sense, if we were to change the color code for the header navigation of selected text, you'll notice how that changes that over there. Various other elements can be customized too. So for example, with bucket seven on selection background, if you were to enter in a different RGB code, in this case perhaps uh, this one over here, which is going to give us like a light shade of grey, you'll notice how that changes the uh, selection for backgrounds um, and whatnot. Now further down, um, various other bucket elements, for example bucket 25, you kind of work your way through and you can customize these different color codes. Remembering again, um, an e a program that can be, there are many multiple programs that can allow you to determine the value for hexadecimal codes are, uh, the one that we we commonly use is uh, Adobe Photoshop. So once you've customized the various elements that you feel need customizing, um, a couple of other little things that you could do, just uh, you'll notice on the right hand side is the preview slot options. Uh, and basically what we've done here is just allocated uh, the various uh, codes or uh, descriptions um, against each of these preview slots. So, for example, preview slot 1, preview slot 2, preview slot 3. This is what people will see when they actually go to choose that color theme from the, uh, the change the look and feel area of SharePoint. Now, once you've done all the things that you feel you need to have been done, you simply take the template or this the color theme that you've created and you save it and we save it locally. Um, I've already created one. Um, called the CA company theme and I'll just save over the top of this one and in a moment we will be looking to upload this into the SharePoint themes gallery. So back now within SharePoint uh, we're going to make our way over to site settings and within site settings we're going to locate a link called themes. Within this themes gallery there's a folder called 15 and this is of course in SharePoint 2013 where here you'll notice I have already simply uploaded the CA company theme and that's just a case of file upload document. Now once that's uploaded, notice that when we go back to change the look um, of our site, on our drop down for our color themes, you'll notice how we have our color theme available to us. So guys, thanks very much for your time. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video, got something out of it. Um, look forward to hearing from you in the future. Um, Thanks again. Cheers.